you unless, of course, you trip and fall down. The problem is, is that often enough, when you're shoved, you're shoved up against a wall. And this is where m many of our injuries happen in the domestic assault. So I might just push her once like that, and then she'll buck up against me and say, you son of a bitch. So this time I grab her really hard, and I throw her up against the wall. Now, you'll see that she's done this perfectly. She's caught herself with the same break fall as when we're thrown down on the ground. Her head has come forward, she's tucked her elbow, her, her chin in, with this chin in like this. What doesn't happen is her head doesn't ricochet up against the wall. So let's walk through it again, keep, keep it running. So I'm gonna give her the first shove. Come on up and buck up against me. Hey, hey, and now, now I'm gonna throw up hard. All right, so she survives this. Well, we're gonna talk about what to do after you're tossed up like this. Now, of course, you know what you wanna do. Okay, do the circular block and run away. That's what she should do in a domestic assault. One more time. So uh, she bucks up and she says, you son of a bitch, and I give her one, and now she's up close to the wall, and I throw her up nice and hard against the wall. Now at this point, make that circular motion, push it aside, and run for the door. On your own, go.